What are some ways that you've effectively been able to revive those situations? Definitely. So I think it's interesting, if you asked me that question maybe five years ago, I would have had a very different answer. But we live in a time where we have the ability to think way outside the box and not just a traditional, let me call them, let me send them an email. Um, so it might not be as applicable to every business, but go on LinkedIn, add them. You know, like if someone is super active on social media and it's, a, you know, you're selling to a social media manager, for example, like go on Instagram. Like I think you can go outside the box, but it's mostly about finding something that's relevant to them that's going to bring it back top of mind. Um, so if there is an article about the company in the media um, or something that, you know, when you built rapport, you talk to them and they said, oh, yeah, my son is playing basketball at this new whatever it might be, and being able to bring that back up to them, maybe not so much, hey, I'm just trying to sell you, but I'm thinking about you because I've built enough rapport and you are someone I'm thinking about, can sometimes be that turning point of saying, okay, it's not just about this person trying to shove a product down my throat, but they actually care. Um, but I also think it really comes back down to while you're on the call or while you're selling that prospect, are you asking enough questions to be, act, to be able to come back to them with those solutions? Um, and if you're just saying, hey, just wanted to follow up, just bring this back up to your inbox, that's follow not going like to move the needle. Right. makes my right. shoulders hurt a Right, and it's not going to move the needle. Um, but if it was something along the lines of, hey, you know, I thought about you, you mentioned this was something that you felt would be of value. Um, I just actually got feedback from a current partner and they mentioned this proof point or a customer story. You know, are you open to continuing the conversation um, is something that is going to bring value. So it all just comes back down to, is this worth their time? And if it is worth their time, they're going to give you the time of day. And it's not necessarily about selling them. It's just that connection you built with them. Yeah, I think that's the only thing that I would add to that. Um, totally agree, and I think it's really important. Like that's when you're showing that you're listening, right? And that you're they're, they were not just another call on your calendar that day. That you um, understood what their uh, pain points were to kind of you know continue bringing that up, but um, that you're you're bringing it back and you're sharing information with them that may not be directly about what you're trying to sell or what their company is trying to do, but just maybe about a common. Um, interest or something that you had talked about on a previous call. And we also, uh, at AdWorld, we use this great um, program called Thanks. It's like a free plug for them. They're a gifting um, software, and they allow us to just kind of partner and, and share any gifts or gift certificates or sending a book via Amazon, something that's really relevant to that conversation. I think that there's a time and a place for something like that. You don't want to just be sending random gifts all the time. Um, but I think if you can bring up that common frame of reference, something that you guys have discussed in the past, it's really going to make you stand out from all the other people who are just following up because they want to get that email out and hit their numbers for that day. Um, really making it personal is going to have you stand out.